Alright boys, in today's video, I'm going to be going over how you can get the uh, hunt badge in the Tower Defense Simulator. Now this game was one of the more popular ones in the hunt because, you know, a lot of people obviously play it. And in my personal opinion, this is like one of the best games. So yeah, we are just going to be doing a guide on it, you know, where to place your stuff at, how to defend each wave. And also, you do not even need any loadout since, well, it's a set loadout, so you don't really need the carrier. What you brain see, yeah, we're just going to walk up to this portal, hit E, go to beginner, hit solo, because that's the only one you can do, and you'll just wait until you get into a match. Alright, so we are in here, so... Our loadout is Minigunner, Soldier, Trapper, Pyromancer, and Warden. So, a good place to place a Pyromancer is, you know, like, around here, you know, up here. I think I'm going to go here. Personally, I, I think this is a good spot. I'm just going to upgrade a little bit. Hit the uh, little yes button. And then we're just going to wait. See so, yeah, we got Core Block Seekers, okay? So they actually have a pretty cool design, you know? Like, they, they are very different from the normal enemies you would see in this game, you know, because they're like zombies and such. And also, this core box will get vile with 2 HP. You do not need to worry about that. That is uh, perfectly, perfectly fine. So yeah, once that does go in, you do probably want to... uh. Level up the Pyromancer. There we go. So that Pyromancer is leveled up. And whenever you can, you will uh, need to get a little ward in here. In my opinion, that is a pretty good deal. So, yeah, we just got that. So, he'll be able to do pretty good damage. Let's level him up again. So, we got him to level 2. So, he'll be able to do pretty good damage. He can also, you know, stun enemies if he does hit a good bit. So we got level 2 Warden, level 2 Pyro. Now, let's get ourselves a Mini Gunner. Mini Gunner, with its a new rework, is way, way better. It's like 10 times better. It does so much more damage, and it relatively ha has the uh, same cost as before. So I got a Mini Gun. The Pyromancer is really just cleaning stuff up. I mean, I'm not even having the worry, and also these souls should die to a warden, so no need to worry on that, and that is a easy way for us, so yeah, Minion Gunner, you do want to just place them in the middle, since they'll be able to hit, like, most of this track, and well, it'll just be able to do constant damage, I mean, right now, it's probably doing around 20 DPS, and also, the Pyromancer is just giving us so much money, in this way, if you get, like, or in this hunt match i should say you get so much money is actually wild and also the more you play the more the map corrupts you know there's like ghost trees there's literally random blocks floating that is quite interesting that is quite interesting so yeah gear it up there we go so yeah you will be doing 50 dps which this is just a outstanding you know, upgrade as he, he's just able to melt for anything. And, you know, each wave you get like 5,000, 6,000. So we're just going to save up till we are uh, able to level it up to max and also get the next upgrade for this as it will be able to do a ton more damage. And also, if, if they do get to the Warren, he can also slow or stun them. So, yeah, it's just both of best worlds. So, yeah, right now we are doing pretty good. We got. Some more uh, map changes. We got like an aura around the sky. Looks very cool actually. It's like representing the hunt colors. Blue and purple. It looks pretty neat. So yeah, we are very close to being able to upgrade here in just a second. Boom. There we go. So yeah, with the new rework, he can do a 100 DPS. So yeah, he's going to be OP. He can do 100 DPS throughout this whole track too. I mean, he can get far. Okay, we're going to level up the Warden. So there we go. And now we're just going to be spamming Minigars, you know. Minigars are going to be the most basic fan in here. I mean, they're just able to shred everything right on the path. I mean, he, he is just cleaning up, getting us free money. We do have a Red Cliff Trader, which the Warren will be able to deal with. He will be able to slow it down tremendously 
which I mean he is like a tank if you guys don't know and the fall is in the uh hard as a game mode of a normal match in a tire defense simulator it is fallen and well that's kind of a very similar unit to the tank as pretty good hp and can also go fast but the warden just completely stops that and if you have a max mini you shouldn't even be afraid of that guy so yeah we are we are just maxing out mini as quick so we already have two you know you can just get more of these that that's literally all you have to do just get minis there's not a catch to it. and also i will probably upgrade my Pyroma pyromancer the max as he is just cleaning up all these little small guys and well it's better to have more dps on the uh, bigger guys than for it to be waste on the low guys resulting into the uh, minis so yeah pyromancer very very cheap you only need like one wave to max it out if you already had it at level two and these guys give us so much money as well so yeah max that out and just continuing continue upgrading your minis it's as simple as that so yeah wave eight we got literally everything floating the aura has a lot more fans in there we got ghost trees around the whole map yeah it's it's getting pretty wild it's getting pretty wild out here so there is a total of 10 waves to this so yeah so we only need two more waves, and well, this has been a really fast match. I mean, obviously, we are able to kill stuff earlier. This pyro literally just deleted all the small units. That is the main reason why I'm using it, you know, the starter tower and also just a little cleanup. And, you know, it doesn't really matter, but I am just going to level up my uh, warden. You know, you could, could go for more minions, but eh. Uh, I am just going to max out the warren here. Why not? So yeah, Pyromancer doing his job. We got four minis here and just a little square around the street. That's yeah. This is basically basically his best spot. You know, if you place a little bit over here, it probably won't even be able to reach like over here. So yeah, basically you're just in a square formation. It is. So yeah, we got some core blocks warriors. Okay, not really much of a pain. Okay, core blocks generals, 3,000 HP. They they do look pretty and okay. The map looks wild. This is this is very very insane. You know, we we just got like a whole whole like armor around the whole map. It's it's looking very very wild out here. I feel bad for the trees. That was our base, you know. They they really they really just had to corrupt our base. Are you joking me? They did not have to do that, but yeah. Core blocks Deathwalker, fifteen thousand HP. So these guys just gave us a whole buttload ton of money and also if a core block Deathwalker does give you money, you know, like randomly, these guys give you money if you do damage them. The core blocks gives you 5,000. So that is a major upgrade from these journals. 750 to 5,000. That's very wild. And he is, you know, just levitating out here. So, yeah, we are doing very OP damage to it. Okay. Wait, that, that's actually cool. It actually shows you where it's going to attack. I actually never saw that before. That's a pretty neat detail, so yeah, I literally got enough money to get another mini. This is slowing down the core blocks just a little bit, so, you know, still helps, and we were able to kill them super quick. You know, all, all you need is minis, a warden, and a pyro, and he is launching up to the sky. We do not need to worry, and that is our badge claim, so... Yeah, that is a real easy guide on how to uh, get this. There is also a little hard mode for a UGC item. So, yeah, I may also make a guide on how they get that UGC item. I do know it is actually pretty hard for that. But the main badge itself is not too hard, you know. And if you guys are just wanting to get, you know, badges easy, this is a very easy badge to do, you know. I mean, it may be confusing if you haven't played and the towers are, like, different and you just don't know what to do. 
Yeah, ju just watch watch one of these guide videos. You have a perfect understanding. So that will be it for today's guide on Tower Defense Simulator. If this uh, did help you, I hope this did help uh, some of you out. You know, for the people who haven't played, this game uh, would probably be a good bit confusing. You know, just what the UI people would already probably be confused. So yeah, that will be it for today's guide there, boys. See ya.